Welcome back everybody to a brand new video on the Dentist Saad channel. I am Future Dentist Saad and today we are going to be talking about habits, good habits, the habits of successful people. I personally as well I'm trying to develop these habits so um, I compiled a little list of the habits that most successful people have so let's go through that list together and see how we can improve ourselves too so the first point uh, that you hear anywhere whatever you look up a list online or anything like that you find that it says to wake up early. When you wake up earlier than everyone else, let's say at 5 a.m. or 6 a.m., you have at least three or four hours where everyone's asleep, there's no distractions, and you can get some pure work in at that time. So let's say you wake up at 5 a.m., you grab your coffee, grab your laptop, and you can start your work and get ahead on your day. Next point. Point number two, exercise regularly. A healthy mind is as important as a healthy body and if you keep your body healthy you will automatically be more motivated and feel much better about yourself and you will be able to accomplish your goals. Stop seeing failure as something where you lose and start seeing it as experience gained. So every time you fail, learn from your mistakes and become better and better and better every single time you do something. Because in life, you are going to fail at things. You're not always going to have successes. But what separates someone who succeeds from someone who fails in life is just the fact that the one who succeeds never gives up. So never give up. Next point. You also need to make sure that you have a very good balance between your chill and your work life. Um, use a stopwatch if you have to. What I recently started doing is timing exactly how many hours I spend studying and how many hours I spend just sitting at the table. So if you take a break for like one minute, stop that stopwatch and restart it again or pause it and then play again once you are back to studying. So by doing this, you find out exactly how many hours you studied and how many hours you are at the table. So the number of hours you study divided by the number of hours at the table multiplied by 100 should give you a measurement of the percentage of efficiency um, that you are doing and that should tell you how much time you actually are wasting while you're sitting at that table and if you use that time efficiently you will do so much better. So by doing this you are going to um, reduce the number of hours you spend sitting at the table and instead you will just have focus for a short amount of time and actually work and then you can go and have your chill life as well and you can have a nice healthy balance between the two. Next point. This point states another thing I recommend is getting yourself a whiteboard where you write down three things on a list that you have to complete every single day. Once you do this you will realize that you are slowly working up towards your goals. Remember a house isn't just put in place straight away, it's built up from little bricks over a long period of time. So all these little steps that you're going to take every single day, they're going to get you to where you want to be. The next point is you need to give yourself time to relax. Take that break, watch that movie, play that game. Just spend some time unwinding and gathering your energy for the next day of work because you are going to need it if you are going to stay efficient. Next point. The next point that I found online um, is that you need to organize your life in some sort of a calendar. That way you know exactly how many free days you have in a week or how many free days you have throughout the year so you can plan your life, you can organize all the events and then you have a lot of free time as well for your own hobbies, for your own interests and for you to make yourself grow more than you can ever imagine. 
And finally, spend some time being grateful for what you have already achieved. You might have days in your life where you just feel down and you just feel unaccomplished. But when you spend some time thinking about what you have already achieved and how far you have come from who you used to be, all of a sudden it doesn't seem that bad. So pray, meditate, whatever you do, just be thankful for what you have already achieved. That is the end of the video uh, for this part of the motivational series. I hope you guys did enjoy it and I hope it did motivate you to become a better person because I am going to try to be a better person and I hope that you try that too. Don't you think so, Kos? Anyways, if you did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment right down there below. Check the description out because I always leave some useful links in there for you guys to help you out. So check the description out, click on those links. Um, if you are new around here, subscribe to the channel. What are you even doing? Subscribe right down there, right now. So why should they subscribe, Bukha? If you subscribe, you have good luck for five years. So if you subscribe to this channel, you're going to have good luck for five years and obviously that is going to be essential for your success so thank you for watching this video my name is Richard and Son and I'll see you guys in the next video, video.